Hi, my name is Rob Daigle, and I'd like to do a brief demonstration here of the appropriate Doppler positioning for continuous wave Doppler that's used for acquiring blood pressures at the ankle or segmentally. Now, this again is a continuous wave Doppler, 8 megahertz transducer. We're going to evaluate the posterior tibial artery just below the medial malleolus with a good blob of gel. I'm going to put the transducer down and slowly scan towards the Achilles tendon until I find a Doppler signal and then I'll go a little bit farther to try and maximize the signal and then sweep across the artery to get the sweet spot or the strongest signal that I can. Now you'll notice that I'm pointing the transducer up along the course of the vessel uh, not like this angle or not like that angle which is not along the course but straight up along the course of the vessel and I'm holding the probe at about a 40, 60 to about a 45 degree angle. That's a 90 degree angle and the Doppler signal will be weak and the Doppler waveform will be inferior. If we put some angle into this Doppler, then we'll uh, acquire a better Doppler signal, a stronger Doppler signal as well. Now, perhaps on the, uh, on just on the skin here, I can kind of demonstrate that because this uh, concave face right here is at, at an angle, it's not in full contact with the skin, we've got to use a pretty good blob of gel to get good contact along the posterior tibial artery. So don't hesitate in putting a good amount of gel to make good contact, uh, holding it at these uh, different Doppler angles. Uh, also, you'll notice that my fingers are down on the skin here to help support the probe. It's important that once you acquire the signal to not move your hand during the pressure inflation sequence. Hopefully this demonstration about the correct method for holding the CW transducer will help you for acquiring ankle pressures and then also for uh, segmental pressures if you accomplish that protocol. Yeah.